All right, so at the end of the chapter on gears, there are a couple of uh, problems, and we're going to go with your solution. Um, the first problem talks about a uh, 19 teeth pinion driven at 1750 RPM, common RPM for a asynchronous motor, and it's meshing with a 38 tooth uh, gear. Uh, you're represented here about at scale. Um, just showing the pitch uh, circles. So what else do we know? It's that um, there are both full depth involute form teeth, um, rake angle 20 degrees, uh, diameter pitch 3 inches at negative 1, and we need to find rotational speed of the gear, uh, diameter of the pitch circles, and then radius of the uh, base circles for the both the circular pitch, um, and then center to set, center distance of the gears and contact ratio. All right, so for a uh, rotational speed of the gear, this is uh, this is trivial. Uh, we do have the equation that's um, uh, relating uh, RPMs to the number of teeth and also relates to the diameters of the um, pitch circles and the radii of the base circles, diameter of the base circle. We can change this to radii uh, by divided by two, multiply by two, get ratios of diameters of the base circles. For reason being that um, the equivalent friction wheels roll without slip, and for the equivalent cross belt transmission, um, where the belt doesn't slip, uh, or maybe it's a, it's a timing belt, so we need to have um, or these two equations to hold. And of course, in number of teeth, um, as is the most commonly uh, used uh, transmission ratio equation. Mm. We know just uh, the our input RPM and number of teeth. So using number of teeth, we can calculate output gears uh, rotational speed or RPM as uh, input RPM times um, you know from the the first and last equation. Uh, so it'll be 19 over 38 or 875, and it makes sense. Uh, this is a reducer. If the pinion is smaller. Uh, the input is smaller uh, number of teeth. I put bigger number of teeth, it's a reduction. For uh, part B, uh, where we need to calculate the um, uh, diameters of the pitch circles of both the pinion and the gear, we're going to use the um, equation. One of the early equations is table and the well, we have it for radii, but diameter is just uh, not taking 0.5 in these two equations. So, and of course, we're talking the English uh, system. Um, so, pitch diameter will be number of teeth divided by a diameter of pitch in metric is going to be times the module. All right, so. The equations uh, are listed here. The diameter pitch is the same on both gears, so that's why this double uh, equation. You solve for D1 and D2, and we get the two diameters, D1 pitch uh, circle diameter of the pinion, pitch circle diameter of the gear. For the base circle radii, um, it's uh, so base circle radii are the pitch circle radii times cosine of the generating rag angle, or this is also the pressure angle at the pitch point uh, for zero backlash gear. Uh, and applying the equation str uh, straightly uh, or directly, um, so we have. Uh, half of the diameter and then cosine of 20 degrees there is one and then 
the other equation uh, same and this is it. Uh, next we need to calculate the circular pitch. Circular pitch is the same uh, on the pitch circle. Remember the friction wheel equivalents. Um, circular pitch is also the same on the base circle. Uh, we're looking at the uh, equations for circular pitch. So it's going to be, we can apply this equation directly. Um, so circular pitch is pi divided by the diameter of pitch for metric will be pi times module. And um, the, there's, it, it is also equal to the circumference of the uh, pitch circle of either the pinion or the gear divided by uh, its number of uh, teeth. Uh, the equation from the uh, formula the table. Um, and again, you could just apply it directly. So it would be pi divided by uh, uh, 3 inches at negative 1 and units would be uh, inches 1.072 uh, inches. For the center to center distance of the two gears, uh, we have uh, the equation um, center, standard center distance. Uh, so there's no information that we have other than zero backlash uh, gears or standard gears. So we can just apply this equation again. The plus sign will be the radius, uh, sum of radius of the uh, pitch circles or half of the sum of diameter of the pitch circles and um, instead of uh, to avoid any truncation error instead of copying these with only three um, decimals I repeated this in this other equation you can also say it's sum of teeth of the pinion of the gear divided by 2 divided by the uh, diameter of pitch or if it's metric multiplied by the module. It's 9.5 inches. Um, okay, finally we're um, uh, to calculate the um, uh, contact ratio. The contact ratio we used, uh, there are different notations um, I'm basing this on uh, on a different textbook, but the one that we have in the uh, formula here is epsilon. And um, if you remember the notes, it's a ratio between the length of action divided by the um, the circular pitch on the base circle. P times cosine phi is the circular pitch on the on the base circle. Um, we have this uh, equation 14 that says circular pitch on any circle uh, and um, the case for um, the case for us would be where the circle is the um, the base circle again and we're going to use the top sign in the double sign it will be plus and minus according to uh, this comment here um, also know that explain what inf alpha or of an angle is is the involved function so again a contact uh, ratio equation and the length of action uh, would be so the length of action would be this uh, portion again just the um, numerator in that equation remember there is a plus and there is a minus um, because we have external gears and with the numbers given uh, and 
things that we calculate earlier, the length of action is um, this much, 1.5977 inches. To get the, the pitch uh, or circuit pitch on the base circle, we take the circumference of the base circle and divide it by number of teeth. Uh, it's another, uh, base circles are another pair of circles where circuit pitch is the same on both the pinion and the gear. Um, and this is it, it has units of length of course. Uh, but we could have used like in the, in this table, so directly the formula P times cosine phi and um, this is really what it's coming out to because this simplifies with this and um, we've got pi over 3 uh, as the uh, okay pi over 3 we encounter it here and it's calculated in a vel. Okay, so length of action determined, um, the circuit pitch on the base circle calculated, uh, the contact ratio, and again the equation uh, or the symbol that we're used to uh, is epsilon, and it's 1.5448. Uh, it's greater than one, so it's, uh, on average is. Uh, like one and a half tooth in contact at any time uh, during the operation of the uh, this pinion with the gear as discussed. All right, the second problem is about an in external internal uh, gear pair. The pinion uh, or gear A has 24 teeth and it's meshing with um, this internal gear and we have an imposed center distance. Uh, this time the uh, rack angle is 25 degrees and module is three uh, millimeters. And what do we need to calculate? Firstly, the number of teeth of the internal gear so that the center distance is satisfied and we're having a zero backlash um, meshing. Then we need to find the um, diameters of the addendum circle, the addendum circle and base circle of both the pinion uh, and the uh, internal gear. And then finally we need to find the thickness of the gear tooth of the internal gear measure along its beach circle. Okay. Okay, so for the um, uh, first uh, question: What is the number of what should be the number of teeth of B of gear B to have the imposed center distance? Uh, we start with the equation of um, center distance. Standard center distance again would be the case, um, and it's for uh, internal external gearing. It's going to be the pitch radius of the internal gear minus the pitch radius of the pinion. Uh, pinion, again, uh, will be gear A. And um, we also have the equation, we, we've seen this before with uh, diameter pitches. For, so the uh, pitch circle diameter is uh, module times the number of teeth. And um, so uh, module times the number of teeth of gear B minus module times the number of gear, uh, teeth of gear A. And from there we solve for number of teeth of B. Um, I'm, uh, I need to make a correction, so I change to a different uh, notation for the center distance. Uh, that'll be D not C. C we use it for clearance. This is from a, a different set of uh, nodes that I prepared a while back. Anyway, so uh, number of teeth, final answer will be 104 teeth. For 
uh, the diameter is a tandem circle, the tandem circle and base circle radius of A and B. Uh, we're going to use again the equation in the formula sheet. So for a tandem circle, um, then there are um, uh, full depth tooth, so addendum is 1 times modules, the addendum 1.25 times modules. These are added to the um, to the pitch uh, radius or twice of them if you are to calculate diameters um, with the difference that if there is uh, an internal gear the addendum is towards the inside and the addendum is towards the outside. So uh, for external gear, uh, you're adding addendum to the uh, pitch circle, subtract addendum from the pitch circle. If it's internal gear, you're um, subtracting addendum from the pitch circle and adding the addendum uh, from the uh, pitch circle. Uh, again, if it's radius, you're um, uh, you're adding just once the addendum. Uh, otherwise, from diameter, you need to consider on uh, twice. Uh, there's equation 21 and 22, which express this, including the uh, profile shift. Uh, but we are not uh, profile shift distance. But we're not uh, having that uh, case. So x1, x2, uh, they are going to be 0. And um, this is what it says. So for diameters, um, for the external gear, we are adding twice the addendum. For internal gear, we're subtracting twice the addendum from the uh, their pitch diameters. And the addendum circles. Uh, likewise, from the pitch diameters uh, for the gear we're subtracting, for the uh, internal gear uh, we're adding uh, twice the, uh, the addendum. Uh, and you see here B in use, actually the symbol was uh, D. And I'm going to make this correction quickly. So. D it's going to be here as well as here. Uh, okay. And elsewhere should have been paste. No. Anyway, you understand the um you understand the difference. Sorry guys and ladies. And finally, base circles. Uh, we have the equation for base circles uh, discussed uh, or, or introduced earlier. So base circle radii as function of pitch circle radii, you just multiply by uh, cosine phi and um, uh, so there is one and for the pitch radii, we use the, uh, the calculate uh, or module times uh, number of teeth and divided by two because it's radius modulus time number of teeth, that's the diameter. And uh, there you have it. Okay. Lastly, we need to calculate the thickness of um, the gear uh, or, or of a tooth of the internal gear measured along the pitch circle. The pitch circle is a particular circle where the uh, thickness of the tooth and the space between the two teeth are equal when you have standard gears and uh, actually uh, standard gears being the um, the thickness uh, of the tooth would be half the uh, 
a circular pitch on the respective um, and on the respective circle. So uh, circular pitch, um, I think according to this uh, this table, so circular pitch on the pitch circle, we use just P, not P with the index C. And uh, circular pitch is pi times module. And the thickness would be half of this. Again, the space between two teeth equals the thickness of the tooth. So we need to take pi times m divided by 2. So I'm going back to, to paint. I'm going to make this change. Take the C out. Left over from, again, using different notations. And um, um, you know, ultimately it would be um, pi times module, I said, module is 3 divided by 2, the value here. Uh, could have used, of course, the equation for the uh, tooth thickness uh, on any circle, uh, on any circle, this equation, um, but um, it was not or our sort of simplified case and of course you need to calculate the the involute function